Hey, I'm Seth Johnson with Land House, and you are watching the Playhouse Build Series. Before we start putting the OSB here on the roof, there are two things that need to be done. First one is to put supports between the top plate and the truss along this wall here because there's gonna be a separation between this outside wall and the inside. So we're gonna build those. And then also we have to put the fascia boards here on the front. So let's go ahead and get those two done before we start putting the OSB here on the roof. I need to measure the full distance between the last ladder and the first ladder here. So, just going to run along the top and see how long this is. Hundred and sixteen and a half inches. I've got a treated two by four. I'm gonna mark out that six hundred and sixteen and a half inches. I've placed a couple of clamps up here just to help me get this board into position since I am working alone here. But you can also stick this up on the, the roof a bit just while you're getting your tools ready. Okay, okay that fascia board is now installed. Looks pretty good. I do want to be fully transparent with you here. I did not do a very good job at lining up my trusses here. So it was a little off on that one and on that one. And if you come back here, it's even worse. So all of these were decent, but this last one over here was way off. So I'm just gonna let that be as it is and uh, deal with it later. But uh, for your build, just spend a little bit more time making sure that they are all lined up properly. Okay, the next step is to make this block right here. And as you see, it uh, has a little angle at the top to match the truss and uh, just connects to the top plate here. So to do that, I'm just gonna measure up from here and up from this other side and come down about a half inch from the top and we will cut that and get it installed. Coming up from this side, Staying about a half inch below the top, we've got 16 inches. And if I come over here on the back side and measure there, we've got 17 and a half inches. So from the bottom, we're gonna move up the 17 and a half here, come over here, go to 16, take a straight edge, line those two points up and then just cut that out. I'm gonna take a couple of screws and angle them really steep here on the side of the board at the bottom. That way it will be able to attach to the top plate. Okay, I'm just gonna line up the bottom here where I want it and then just get those steeply angled screws put down into place. There's one side. Let me get the other side real quick. Okay. And now lastly, I'm just going to put a couple of screws here into the top. The support that goes here on the end is going to be just a little bit different because I'm just going to set it up here and then use a pencil to mark out the size that I need or the uh, angle, excuse me. That way I'm not measuring anything. There we go. That should do it. Now remember this is a playhouse as we're building. I'm gonna cut down the OSB into two foot strips instead of having full four foot sheets. And that's because I don't feel like figuring out how to get those big sheets up here on top of this roof. So 
what we're going to do is measure out the distance required to go from the last piece over here to halfway on this stud right here and then i'm going to cut down or rip down two foot pieces and so what i'm going to do is run the strips along here and then i'm going to offset so the next piece will have the eight foot going from this end to this truss here and the smaller piece over there. So staggering back and forth. Okay, it's a very strange angle up here, but I'm just going to measure out from the last truss here and then see what the midpoint is of this one over here. 81 and three quarter inch. Okay, first step, I wanna measure out 81 and three quarters here. Step over here to the other side, do the same thing. I'm just going to make a line. As a test run, I went ahead and put the first piece up. Pretty much just flushed it up to the end of that fascia board and it worked out really well. So now it's time to get this piece up there. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. I can tell that trying to pull uh, four by eight sheets up here would be difficult, if not impossible. So definitely worth cutting down to the two foot sections. And it's just so much easier in general. All right, I'm gonna scoot this all the way to the other end down here. Up top here, I'm just putting a screw at the top and bottom of each of these trusses here. So putting one there, and then I'm gonna come back and put one right down here. Now I need to get the distance here on the last gap. So let's see what that's gonna be. Looks like 34 inches ought to do it. I'm getting this titanium underlayment installed on top of the roof. Uh, it's very hard to film this step and work at the same time. So all I had was this small piece and then this full piece over here. Uh, I'm gonna be using some house wrap as you can see down there. And then I've got a little thin strip that I hope is going to be able to span this gap here. If not, I may have to use more of the house wrap. Um, it's not as ideal as this stuff, but it should work okay. Okay, and now I have all of the underlayment on top of the OSB because we're supposed to get a pretty good bit of rain coming up. Um, so the next step is to put the metal roofing on here. And uh, I'll probably pick a day that's kind of somewhat cloudy for that because it will be hot. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump off this roof here and take a look at what we have done. I installed these two blocks to help me get up on the ladder and also hold some of my tools. So. I highly recommend you do that whenever you are climbing up on your own playhouse roof. I feel like this build has turned out quite nice so far. I was able to alternate the sheets up here as you saw and that really locks in this place even tighter. Now I had a little bit extra over here and that's because I did not measure my outside truss as well as I should have. So it was a little bit off um, but I think it turned out pretty good. Once that metal roofing is up there, you won't really see much of an issue. I hope you've enjoyed this build. Be safe when you're climbing on the roof and it's recommended that you build with a friend or a partner. So uh, just keep that in mind. But as you saw, it had 200 pounds up here on the roof, which means it is nice and strong for a playhouse. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.